What's going on guys, Ryan is War with obviously another episode of course on my way back from work so I thought let me quickly make a video for those that you know and subscribed make sure you check out my Strictly Arsenal channel it should be in the description the link I suppose it will be down there so anyways let's get back to business guys well you heard the little cat there well, it's gone now anyways but listen let's talk about wwe let's stick to one specific topic the lunatic dean ambrose no he doesn't have a fringe that's why i'm not saying that so apparently from last week the news broke out after monday night raw that dean ambrose will be leaving the company after wrestlemania so my thing is you know coming off raw i kind of saw the seeds and why because when people leave they usually go through some bullshit you know like royal rumble eliminations were a bit eerie we could talk about his elimination um the promo that he had with triple h which kind of makes you think is he gonna have one more match with triple is he gonna have a match with triple h at WrestleMania? time will tell after the promo that he kind of interrupted with seth Rollins and triple h after Rollins won the royal rumble I got in his face and basically, you know, you know how we always get the Are you gonna ask your wife and shit like that But obviously we got, are we gonna, are you gonna ask your father-in-law So, it's just one of those things where it's just like Hmm, maybe And then, obviously at this time we're not thinking Ambrose is leaving, you know We're thinking, oh, is this what's next? Ambrose, Triple H, WrestleMania Do you know what I mean? For me, I felt we should have got that when it was the Royal Rumble for the WWE title. And I remember when Dean Ambrose faced Triple H for the title. Um, do you know what I mean? We should have got it around them times. Not Roman. Okay, uh, don't get me wrong. Still support Roman. But at that time, I was like, Ambrose should have faced Triple H at the main event of WrestleMania. But we got Reigns instead. But I digress. Carry on. He got in a match with Rollins. He lost that clean. And then after the break, he was sitting in the ring. And he looked like he was about to cut a promo. And then Nia Jax comes out. Pretty much gets in his face. I'm sure she's feeling very confident after her showing in the Royal Rumble the previous night. And, you know, she just knocks him out of the ring from behind. And it's just, obviously, he can't do nothing. Do you know what I mean? The referees are surrounding him and stuff. And then that was Ambrose's night on Raw. And then obviously the next night we get the post on WWE, Instagram, and their website. Basically saying he is not re-signing. It's it. it just reminds me of what we're doing with Ramsey. But the only difference is, yeah, this ain't football. Let's just stick to wrestling. But for me, if this is true, and I'm going to tell you why it's if, iffy. Because if this is true... I can understand why, because let's face it, like Dean Ambrose is a good wrestler and I think his character has been absolutely trash since he's come back. Even a little bit before that, I mean, once he won, when he won the WWE title, it was a bit slow. You know, the him and the Ellsworth little combination, you know, getting at AJ on SmackDown, I just thought, it's pretty mediocre, you know. I gotta be real. Do you know what I mean? And I thought, okay, when he came back, I thought, okay, he looks a bit jacked. His hair's cut shorter. Do you know what I mean? We might be getting a new Ambrose. And I knew a heel turn was coming, but it was a matter of when. And of course, when we got that unfortunate news about Roman Reigns getting ill, he's got a bigger battle right now. You know what I'm saying? And I hope it's going well, Roman forever in our thoughts of course and that was probably the best hill turn I've seen in a while you know it was an emotional night Roman dropped the title and now it's his leaving and then, you know Rollins and Ambrose I'm sure they won the tag titles that night and the hill turn came and I thought oh wow this is perfect this is perfect because we've been crying for this hill turn for over two years and I was one of the people that said originally I would have had Dean Ambrose break up the shield instead of Seth Rollins 
because I felt Dean Ambrose comes more heelish. He's more of a person you can get annoyed at, call him trash, you name it all. But they went in a different direction, don't get me wrong. Rollins as a heel was cool. I didn't have a problem with it at the time. Still don't have a problem with it now. But still, I think Ambrose could have benefited from it. Um, you know, it's just been trash, man. Like, and I know he's not happy. We can, you know, when you can tell a person in character, you can see it. If you've watched wrestling as long as I have, you could tell when they're not generally happy with their character or with the promo. For example, when Roman was saying sniggering succotash on SmackDown, you could tell he was being sarcastic when he winked at the camera. So he knew that shit was corny as well. He still said it, but you knew it was corny. Do you know what I mean? With Ambrose, you could tell he's getting annoyed. But again, WWE knows how to troll people. So my thing is, is this at work? Because why on God's green earth would WWE post something on their website and Twitter or even Instagram? Because that's how I saw it. On him leaving and to me it just I don't know you kind of gotta connect the dots what happens with Renee Young if Dean goes will she follow or will she stay or will she do the AJ Lee route if this is true I mean what I mean for me personally if I was Dean Ambrose looking at it right now I know I'm not right now they're not treating me like the top guy I had one title run that didn't really have any significance to it and it's just flat and the way the company's going in this direction which has been going in this direction for quite quite a few years now he could do better that's my personal opinion Dean Ambrose could do so much better you know AEW's trying to get up and running now you know I'm not saying Ring of Honor I think he's big he's no disrespect to Ring of Honor but I don't think he should go to Ring of Honor Impact, no, stay the fuck away from there. Even though they've been putting on some decent wrestling shows lately, but nope, that's going backwards. So guys, what do you think Dean Ambrose should do? Or what do you guys think? Is it a worker issue? So I'm gonna leave you guys to think about that. So guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please check out the Strictly Arsenal channel. Links will be at the bottom of the description. Also check out the rest of the Ruckers podcast. Link will also be in that description. And if you want to tweet me or anything, find me at RJ Wills on Twitter. So guys, this is Ryan Iswell signing off. And will Ambrose stay or will he go? We'll find out very soon. Peace.